Hello everyone and welcome back to Incredible Crisis! Last time we left Chaneo, he got hit in the head with the statue arm from Nerd on a Wire, and the sound of sirens is coming, and now we're in an ambulance answering really weird random trivia questions from two questionable doctors? Is one kilogram this many milligrams? Is it right or is it wrong? Press X for yes and circle for no. At least they're two or false questions, but that's just kind of limitations right there. A lot of these questions I find to be pretty simple, but just the fact that you're stressed out and having to answer these in three seconds can kind of throw you off really quickly and make you a little bit button happy in order to just hit whatever is where your thumb is. Now, if you get 10 right, you finish. If you get two wrong in a row, especially with these weird math questions, if you get two wrong in a row, um, something extra bad is going to happen. And these train questions do not help that situation at all. Especially when you have so few time, so little time. And also, ha ha ho ha ho, nope, I have no idea. So let's get a heart massage. We're in intense electric shock because I am alive, man. Alright, how many hoes? Are there 12? Aha, I got it. He's alive! I would say this reminds me of the last time I was in an ambulance, but it doesn't. I just have to rem remember that I have to pay the ambulance bill. Which sucked, but at least they didn't throw you out of the back of the ambulance, even though you were fine. Alright, so we have this long distance minigame here of us driving on a stretcher. Which, well, driving on a stretcher definitely does not sound like the easiest thing to do, and it honestly isn't. And it gives you the feeling that it is, but then it just kind of throws this malarkey at you, where you lose all control, whether you are steer whether you're like overzealous in your steering, because you could lose steering from just steering itself, or by hitting a blockade, or by hitting any of these guys who are I don't even know where the oncoming traffic lane is. Like there's a yellow lane between, so there technically should be some way of knowing which is right and which is wrong. Wouldn't it be the left side of the road? I have the slightest idea, but, well... Oh, good. Too many things, and first contact! So, the... This, honestly, this minigame isn't so hard. The issue with it is that you can easily combo yourself into not having any sort of control for just meters at a time. That you just combo yourself either losing control or collision after collision with motorcycles and cars. Which is... it gets nuts. And honestly, with the, with the case of the excitement here, like, I kinda like that it gets nuts. I just want to know why nobody is really following traffic laws. Is this the right way? Is this a one-way road? I don't know. Nothing tells me. <laughs> According to all the signs that are on the left and the right side, I'm technically on the right direction, because there isn't anything saying otherwise for the other people. So either everybody hates me, or I don't know. Just bad luck.
Taneo is a very strange little duckling, the noises he makes. He's also a pretty unethical one because, you know, he's married. And apparently he's just gonna go with the lady from the office, who, unbeknownst to him, is also a crime lord. But, you know, it's time for a Ferris wheel ride. And a massage minigame. All the way down. Okay, so this is weirdly oh, sexy. A little, oh, a little down. Oh. This minigame also sucks, because the only feedback that you get is her direction speaking and her, and her in text. Other than that, you have very little in order to figure out where you're supposed to go other than text. So somehow, while I was playing this minigame for this particular time, I got incredibly lucky. You're not supposed to get this lucky on this minigame. It's supposed to take a lot longer than this. And my button mashing was apparently impeccable. So don't even get me started on the Japanese version of the Ferris Wheel minigame because let's just say it's harder than that because you don't get any text feedback, it's only voice. So I had to learn a little bit of Japanese in order to know what was up, down, left, or right. So now that apparently Taneo has exploded again, let's see what happens in the next chapter. Because we can't leave him on the helicopter, we have to see what happens next. See you then! Our third artist on our collaborations list is someone who has been considered an artist who deserves to be seen and heard in the West, according to The Guardian in 2010, and had her third album ranked number two on the most underappreciated Japanese music of the last decade at the end of 2009. She goes by the name of Ringo Shina, actual name Yumiko Shina who is primarily a solo artist, but also was lead vocalist for her band Tokyo Jihen between 2004 and 2006. Her career began in 1998 with her first official single, and is still performing today. When she resumed her solo work in 2007, she took a number of requests and kept up a sort of music director role in her career, composing and providing songs to numerous outlets, including anime, kabuki, TV dramas, as well as other music groups, including Puppy in 2009. Where Tokyo Ska Paradise Orchestra comes into her career is actually much earlier, in 2001. When beginning her third album, she released the single Mayanaka wa Junketsu, or roughly translated as Midnight is Pure, or Chastity at Midnight, it gets a little foggy which featured TSPO, with the intention of including it in that third album. However, she ultimately released it as a separate single. The song also is accompanied by an animated music video. Apparently, the video was supposed to be shot in live action, but she found out while filming that she was pregnant, so they quickly hired a crack team of animators to animate the video instead. Now, personally, I highly recommend that you watch this video, as it definitely made my day when I stumbled across it when doing research. I provided two links to the same video, just in case one it doesn't work anymore, because I definitely encourage you to watch it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.